Today I'd like to talk about Icarus and references to him in pop culture. Who is Icarus, you ask? Well, dear viewer, allow me to explain. This is Icarus. Icarus was the son of the inventor Daedalus. So basically, Daedalus is commissioned to create a labyrinth to hold this guy, the Minotaur, by this guy, King Minos. So after Daedalus is done, Minos doesn't want anyone to know how the labyrinth works. So Minos trapped Daedalus and his son, Icarus, inside the labyrinth. After a while, Daedalus constructs wings made of wax and feathers so they can escape. When they're about to escape, Daedalus tells Icarus to not fly too close to the sun because the sun will melt the wax, and not fly too close to the sea because the sea spray will make the wings fall apart. But being the teenager he is, Icarus disregards what his father says and flies higher. But once Icarus gets close to the sun, the wax melts, and he falls to his demise. Over the years, many subtle and not so subtle references have been made to this classic Greek tale. For example, in the musical Hamilton, they referenced him in lyrics. You've married an Icarus and he's flown too close to the sun, from Burn. And even Queen, they're only flying too close to the sun, from No One But You. There's also something called the Icarus Illusion. That's illusion spelled A-L-L-U-S-I-O-N used to show a character's dangerous ambition. For example, if a character or like a spaceship or plane is named after Icarus, it's likely they'll do something that leads to their demise or failure. A character doesn't necessarily have to be named Icarus to do the Icarus illusion. For example, mentioning him in a book or something could indicate a character doing something similar. The Icarus illusion has been used in One Piece, Iron Man, Kid Icarus, My Little Pony, and many more. The influence of this story has spanned many a lifetime and will most likely continue to do so for many more. Farewell, dear viewer. Until we meet again.